Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be learning how to install Ground Branch in virtual reality and we will be using the Unreal Engine VR injector. Now, if you haven't already, check out my channel and have a look at the video on how to install the Unreal Engine VR injector because you will need that in order to do this process. Uh, big shout out to Skull VR for sending us this butcher. It is a beast of a stock. I would highly recommend it. More on them later. But uh, stay tuned, guys, because this is how we play Ground Branch in VR. All right, first and foremost, we are going to head over to the flat screen to VR Discord. I'll leave a link in the description, so have a look at that. And we're going to head over to UE Games, so that's Unreal Engine Games. And we're going to search for Ground Branch. Now, once we found Ground Branch, as you can see, it's got 60 OF, it's got good optimization we're going to select ground branch and we're going to look at the top right hand corner there's going to be three pins and we're going to select pin and then once we've opened that chat you can query anything you need in that chat by the way any questions any issues um, we are going to click the pin symbol and ignore all of these instructions here what we're going to do is we're actually just going to download the profile now I've put the downloaded profile on my desktop, so I'm gonna open up the Unreal Engine VR injector and I'm gonna select import profiles and I'm gonna select that profile and push open. And that's that. Now with your VR headset connected to your computer via AirLink or Link or whatever it is you use, we're gonna open up Ground Branch. All right, so now we are actually in a mission. I've passed the menu part and I've opened up the Unreal Engine Injector. Now I'm gonna make sure that I've selected Ground Branch from the drop-down menu and I'm gonna make sure that I have Open XR selected if I'm using an Oculus and Open VR tends to work better with other headsets. And I'm gonna push inject, that's gonna inject us into VR. Now I need to select my firearm, so I'm gonna push one on my keyboard and that's gonna take it up. The only issue is that the gun is currently centered to my line of vision and I want it to be attached to my right arm. So we're going to fix that now. So by the way, we're just going to push in both of our thumb sticks and that's going to open up the Unreal Injector menu. We're going to go down to main and for whatever reason, this profile removes everything apart from my watch. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's a bug. Either way, we're going to fix it and it's going to be sorted permanently. As you can see from the footage, the uh, gun is attached to my right arm. However, I have this fleshy, annoying left arm with a watch on it. So let's get rid of that now. I'm making sure that we have advanced options selected at the top. We are going to go over to main, common objects, acknowledged pawn, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we find children. Now this drop down menu called children basically holds all of the models which are attached to you, the player, the acknowledged pawn. So we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we want to find the watch and we want to go into the watch and then we want to click on components, static mesh, and then we want to hit visibility off. And then what we want to do is save that state. Now these menus can be a little bit confusing, but I also wanted to get rid of the face of the watch and that was called widget. So I'm going to go in there, hit widget, and then I'm going to basically turn off its visibility and save state. And you can push legacy and then turn legacy off and then save state. You can do it for both, but make sure you do it for both the watch and for the widget and you'll have a watch gone make sure that you save visibility state or else when you reload the game you're gonna have to do this all over again and it's a pain in the butt now to get rid of this meaty fleshy arm we're gonna scroll all the way up to bp head and then we repeat the same process as before we are gonna go through to components we're gonna go through to skeletal mesh arm we're gonna disable the visibility and we're gonna save the visibility state that is us almost done now Double click both of your analog sticks and go to input and select D-pad selector. And you wanna select that to left hand gesture. And what that does is it allows you to basically put your left hand up to your head, you'll feel a little vibrate and you can use the, the um, analog stick 
to select whichever D-pad option it is. So that would be for your laser, for your night vision goggles, for your torch. You're good to go. So well, guys, that's everything you need to know. We are ready to play. Uh, I hope this has been useful. At the beginning of the video, I think you remember I spoke about Skull VR and their butcher stock. Have a look at their website and use code DEADPIXELS. It will give you a good discount. It's a really, really good product. I use it for all of my VR games. I can't play without them now. Uh, really, really solid 3D printed, lightweight. It's just a brilliant all around stock. Check out the website. They also have the Tomahawk, which is a little bit more advanced. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned, guys. Bye-bye.